Hey guys, welcome to Quinian's Budget Crafting. Just a quick one for you here today, spider eggs. A little bit out of season, but it's quick and easy to do, basically free. So does your glue gun make a whole bunch of little blobs like this? Well if not, congratulations, your glue gun is better than mine. But you can make some if you want. Just put your glue gun slightly elevated and gently squeeze the trigger to make some drops fall. If you want them teardrop shaped, drop them into a little thing of water. You're going to need some kind of base. I have a bunch of these little wood circles I got for free. You can use one of these punch out tools to make little three quarter inch circles. You can cut out a random shape like that. Or you can make one of these corner pieces. And you'll want some kind of glue. Any of these are fine, but just a warning about the super glues and stuff. They do have some fumes. You're not using a whole lot of it here, so it shouldn't be a problem. Just something to keep in mind. Don't burn your eyes. For this one, I'm going to use super glue just because it's pretty fast to dry. And we'll use a few different paints here. Standard white, antique white, granite gray, some brown, and a little green. And of course, the 50-50 gloss. Also, Plaid has a new spray-on gloss that just came out a few days ago. I will get some as soon as I can and let you guys know how it works. Now, if you want your glue gun blobs to be pretty much perfectly round, you can cut the little tails off of them, you could, or you just pinch them off with your fingers. I'm just using scissors so you can see what's going on. Or, if you don't want to use glue gun blobs, you can use airsoft BBs, or even styrofoam balls. The airsoft BBs are a lot bigger than glue gun blobs, so it kind of depends on what look you're going for. So just glue some on, and then keep stacking them with more glue, more beads or glue gun blobs, whatever you're using, until you get the height you want. Then what I did to make sure they all stay is cover it in a liquid super glue because it gets between all the cracks and everything. And if you're super impatient like I am, you can take some baking soda and sprinkle it over and it'll make the super glue instantly harden. But don't do that if there's any super glue that's in like a little pool because it will harden into like a little concrete blob. You don't want that. Then we'll just use a little bit of this black wash. It's black, brown, and green mixed together. So it's just kind of gross looking basically just to get in all the cracks and make sure anything you would see through or in between the, the eggs is just gross looking. Then I use a wet brush so it's kind of watered down and use some brown to make it dirty. Go back over with some of this limeade green because it looks gross. You're going to need to wait for the green and brown and all that stuff to dry before you go through with the white or you're just going to muddy it up. Put some antique white on which is like a yellowed sort of dingy white. Then go back through and highlight all the eggs particularly on the outside where you can see the whole thing with the, the bright white. Then once that's dry, we're going to use the hose from the sprayer to just sort of dropper the gloss stuff on just a little bit. You don't need to get crazy with this. Just make it a little bit shiny so it looks wet. And I just colored the edge of my base with a Sharpie because it's easier. Then rip up a Q-tip or a cotton ball or whatever you've got to make some gross webbing looking stuff. Put some super glue to hold it down in a few spots. And then give it a real quick hit with some Mod Podge spray or hairspray or anything that'll keep the cotton from coming off. Then I made a few extras with the other glues out of curiosity. The big curvy one, I didn't take any of the tails off of the hot glue blobs. I just grabbed the whole mess and stuck it on there. And then for the corner one, I used the airsoft BBs. And I think I forgot to put the green on the corner piece too. I made that corner piece to be one by one by one inch, so it'll fit pretty much anything. And if you make a few varieties like this, you can use them for scatter in any of your games. Don't mind the terrible unpainted spider there. That comes from a bag of monsters you can get off of Amazon. I'll link it below. They actually do look pretty good once you clean them up and paint them, but I haven't done that with the spiders yet. And that is all for this one. Thanks for watching, everybody. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Catch you on the next one.